Do coaches respond to needs as they arise? Hmm. I would say the immediate response to that is no. And the reason I say no is because I'm afraid that without a more strategic plan for how coaches spend their time, that this coach who responds to needs as they arise will begin flitting. Oh, you need something? I'll work with you. Oh, you need something? I'll work with you. Oh, you need something? Sure, I'll help you. You need something? But what about the rest of you? Does this mean that if the coach is busy providing service to the few who ask, the rest of you are exempt? My answer would be no. Strategic deployment of co coach services within a school means that there's a schedule designed for the coach to work with teams of teachers, either by department, subject area, by grade level, by team, and that using a rotational system, the coach is assigned for a period of time, whatever it is, three days, a week, to work intensively with that group of teachers. That eliminates the immediate one-on-one -on -one flitting from thing to thing, and it also eliminates the notion that some people are exempt from working with a coach. Coaching is a whole school reform process. So I may be introducing some ideas to you right now that are new. And I'm not suggesting you turn around tomorrow and implement them. But I would ask you to think about this notion. And I actually have a slide I want to show you. Some or all teachers. The minute it becomes some, you diminish the opportunity to maximize the effect of coaching. Um, do they focus on one area? Well, here we go. Is it content focused? Is it pedagogy focused? Is it both? You have to make these decisions. I can tell you my preference, but it's a core decision you make. Without making that decision, you have made the decision to focus on everything. And I would say to you, do you need help with everything? Or do you have needs in your school that are more numeracy-based, or literacy-based, or science-based? And that might be where the coach spends the majority of his or her time. Or is it on pedagogy, the learning coaches, for example, are focused on inclusion? If we begin to diffuse their efforts, so that they aren't focusing on inclusive teaching strategies, are we diffusing the effect of the program? Are they free agents to plan their work? Or does the principal guide it? Roles and services, that's the question. Here's how I would answer that in a simple way, and then I want to come back to it after lunch. In a simple way, I would say goals, the services, and the work of a coach is determined first by the goals of the school and the goals of the coaching program. Secondly, by the rotation system that's established. Who is it that is my focus for this period of time? And then I would say the principal has a voice in helping that, in creating that decision. What I do not want is this. Principal going to the coach and saying, oh, here's your list. I do not want that. That's why I believe that if we set up a structured system to work with teachers across the school or across schools, Every teacher gets support, not some. Not those who want it, not just those, not just those who need it, but everybody. 